Assalamu alaikum everyone and hello and welcome to this video. So some people they have mashallah amazing YouTube channels with more than 20k subscribers with 20k views. It is absolutely absolutely phenomenal and amazing you know it makes me so happy seeing people's success but it does sadden me that also the videos sadly they're becoming very similar of course like we are constantly reviewing products and we should carry on, we should help small business, businesses, big businesses, there's people really trying their best to come into the modest fashion market, the halal market, so many different kind of markets and it is, it's, it's beautiful that we can all work together to help, help and support businesses grow um, because, you know, people love seeing bloggers review products. like. You constantly see these makeup videos, which is absolutely fine. You know, you're reviewing something new in the market. Um, a lot of people have skin issues. So, you know, people want to see those kind of videos. That's fine. But if you're so inspirational and you speak so well and you're educated as well, ha you know, having a YouTube channel and being a blogger in general or just having a blog, you you have a lot of education. doesn't matter what edu your educational background is. You are educated, you're interesting, and people love you for who you are. So there's something there, there's something there, and you should use it to your advantage fully. And what hurts me is that you see some people, right, they're, they're huge on Instagram, they work Monday to Friday like myself, they have so many different interests, they've done a degree in, um, I don't know, politics, they've done a degree in history, they've done a degree in arts, they're teachers, they're dentists, they're lawyers. They have amazing jobs. They have that brain. They know how to speak. They're not showing or sharing any of that to their, to their fans, to the people who love them, to the people who helped them with their movement and everything. They're, they're not. They're not sharing all of that with them. Why not? And what I noticed um, during the American elections is that YouTubers got together and they were really talking about politics. I'm just going to get on with it, so I've made some notes, right? Um, so, Thursday, this coming Thursday, I really, really, really should have done this video way before, but unfortunately I haven't. And the reason, actually, before I start, I'm doing this video is because I've been inspired by some of my blogger friends. Um, one of them is called I Breathe Shoes, the, the other... The other one is called Zahra Rosia, I believe on her Instagram, she was called Zahra Rose before. And um, also Simply FS, who's Pfizer. They've been constantly posting stuff about politics, um, about certain things, about why you should vote and the motivation behind it and the importance behind it. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a video as well. So on Thursday, Theresa May has called a snap general election. Right, that means that she's called an election uh, in between the five year gap. So we have election every five year and she's called it before the five year. Five years is up for the next election. And from my research, I feel that the reason why she has done this is because she's been very, very, very tactical. She's being very tactical. Um, she's a very clever woman. Of course, everyone in politics is very clever. Uh, especially the Conservative Party, I must say. And um, she obviously knows that, unfortunately, the Labour Party are at a, have been at a very unstable position. And um, she knows that they're trying to bring everything together, uh, especially with the manifesto and everything. So she's caught, it, caught them at the kind of the wrong time to, to showcase them, you know. That's what happens, like, clever people um, use people's vulnerabilities and um, use that to their advantage uh, to show that they're the better person but actually you know they're not um, it, it's kind of scary like Brexit happened no one kind of spoke about it um, I don't uh, last year in 2016 I was going through quite a lot um, I think I'm going to do a separate video for that uh, so I remember like oh my god I really need to do a video and I didn't I really didn't and I and I apologize for that and I really should have back then because I was silly and I thought oh come on Brexit Brexit's not gonna happen are you stupid <laughs> yes I am stupid it did happen so now it's been a makeup wake-up call for me and everyone else I hope 
it did happen so Brexit's coming along I've noticed in the supermarket um, I live with my husband we live alone I do um, the weekly shopping whatever shopping two weeks ago I was buying some eggs they were two pound uh, sorry one pound ten I believe and I think they went back up to one pound thirteen I can't remember which supermarket but I noticed the difference this is a few pennies but it all adds up and it can and that few pounds can really demolish your savings yes, the effects are already taking place um, but I feel like some people don't really care because they're just in this airy fairy world and they think that life must go on and it will always go on no it won't and yesterday last night the attacks, uh, you know, in London Bridge, people are blaming Muslims. Who knows who it is? We all have bad and good in, in our cultures and our religions. So it could be a really, a person who's from a Muslim family doing it, but you know what? I don't know, is it all tactical again? Is it just pointing fingers again? Who gain votes in another tactical form? Who knows? But, Anyway, going back to the general election, um, the reason Theresa May has called this election is because she knows that Labour Party are at, a, are at a vulnerable stage and she can really use that to her advantage. She can win the election and she can take over a Brexit. I'm being completely honest about it. Politics is something we can openly talk about. There's freedom of spe speech in this country to a certain extent. So I'm going to use this freedom of speech. Um, uh, what else? I mean, I feel like a lot of Muslims, right, they have voting fatigue and they just think that, oh, what's what's going to happen for with my vote? It's nothing to do with Muslim, it's haram. I don't know, like, the end point is, you need to vote. You need to vote on Thursday. And if you haven't registered, well, you're going to miss out, but it doesn't matter what your family say, what your elders say, you are educated. We are the people that can change everything. We honestly can, as Muslims. I've used fashion today to my advantage because I know when I have a full face makeup on and um, a title that people would want to click on, I know that I can, I will get the views from that. I mean, I don't really know how many views I will get, but I hope I do get the views because that's what I've done. I've used makeup to my advantage. And I think that's what people need to start doing. Use your fashion, use your garment that you're putting around your head to your advantage. Speak, speak up. There's so many different things that the Labour Party brought in that really, really helped us. You know, ethnic minorities, Muslims, have the chance to live in this country get the chance to stay in this country, the right to, you know, get a citizenship, get a British passport, and the chance of education, you know? I, I alhamdulillah, finished my education two years before um, the, the, uh, the coalition government came into power and where the, when the Conservative parties increased um, the tuition fees. Yes, some people may argue that we don't need university, but for me, university really, really helped me and um, changed me as a person. So it's really sad when I see some of my cousins, some of my family members thinking twice before applying to university because they're worried about the debt they're going to get in and taking a different option of apprenticeships. It's not really fair. If you want to go to university, you should go to university and you shouldn't be paying a ridiculous amount of whatever it is, eight to nine thousand pound a year. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, yes, Jeremy Corbyn um, is not likeable sometimes. There was a time when I was like, what the hell, like, why is he the, you know, the leader? But unfortunately that's what happens. He's a real person at the end of the day. He is a bit hippie, um, I believe, in my opinion. But that's reality, you know? In, in a real party you'll see real people's lives, people who have never suffered, um, to kind of say things about society like, oh yeah, I understand how uh, poverty is working in this country. No, you've never been through poverty. You've always had a, you've always lived in an affluent society. So, honestly, make sure you vote. And I'm going to say vote Labour. Um, look at these websites. If you're confused, 
go to um, vo um, votingcounts.co.uk, I believe, or just put on Google, and that puts out um, each of the parties and uh, what they're all about underneath a brief description and more description, whatever you want to read about. And there's another one as well, They Work For You. Um, on that website, um, you can find out a bit more about your local MP and what they've done and all those kind of things, what they believe in, because every MP has different strategies, different beliefs, they come from different backgrounds as well. So, you know, really, honestly, vote on Thursday. But you know what? It's very vital, it's very important. It really does shape your society and it does make a huge difference in everything. Like I said, in your supermarkets, in your savings, your car insurance, fashion. That's another thing. That's the movement I'm in. You're in most probably if you're watching this. Fashion, if you like designer. All those prices, honey, they're gonna go up. Um, so many things I can't stress. Politics is involved in your everyday life. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it inspirational. Make sure you use your page, your blog to its, to its advantage and showcase important messages. I'm gonna make a promise, it's Ramadan. And I didn't say Ramadan cream, I'm sorry. It's Ramadan. I'm going to post a minimum of one video every other week, but from now on I'm gonna post one video per week and I'm gonna increase that to two videos per week, inshallah. And I'm not gonna lie, some of them will be fashion related, some of them will just be hijab tutorials, some of them may just be makeup related, but others will definitely be about important things happening in our society and in the news, and I'm openly gonna be speaking about them. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe in the, um, subscribe in the button below, press that button, and keep watching my videos. Until next time, Take care. Assalamu alaikum. Oh yeah, and before I forget, don't run away from democracy. This is democracy.